What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to save your SHSH blobs using iFaith. Now you want to download the latest version of iFaith and I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to do that but this is only going to work on PC so it's not going to work on Mac. Now before we actually get into the tutorial let me give you a little bit of a background if you don't know what SHSH blob is or if you're not familiar with them. So basically SHSH blob is a term for a small piece of data that is part of Apple's digital signature protocol for iOS restores and updates. So it's designed to control the iOS versions that users can install on their iOS devices. So since Apple stopped signing iOS 6.1.4 and below, that means that you can't downgrade using iTunes. But if you saved your SHSH blobs like I'm about to show you how to do, then you're able to downgrade using different jailbreak tools. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So I've downloaded this and what you want to do is right click on it and you want to run it as administrator. Because if you don't, then it's possible that it's not going to be able to detect what type of device you're using. So we're going to go ahead and click OK right here. And then you don't want to worry about any of this stuff. All you want to worry about is dump SHSH blob. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now this is just giving you a little bit of instructions of what it's going to do. It says the application will grab all available SHSH blobs that are flashed on your iDevice. Also it's going to tell you what current devices are supported. So you can see here Apple TV 2, iPad 1, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch 3, and iPod Touch 4. Also this version works for supported devices running iOS 3.1 to 6.1.3. So just click proceed and then click let's go. Obviously make sure that your device is plugged in and then click let's go. Also you'll get a pop-up. This showed up on my other screen so I'll drag it over here. It asks are you dumping an Apple TV 2? We're gonna click no because this is an iPhone 4. Alright so what you want to do is turn your device off and then once you turn your device off you're going to want to click start and then it's going to walk you through how to put your phone or device into DFU mode so once this is completely off looks like it's off okay we're gonna click start and then it says prepare to press and hold power and the home button in two one hold them both the sleep wake button and the home button now it's gonna count down again and then you're going to release the power button so three two one release the power button continue holding the home button and then it gives you a 30 second countdown but it shouldn't take that long in order for it to kick into DFU mode and it should automatically recognize when it's in DFU mode alright so now it's going through the process Alright, so at this point you'll get a pop-up and now you want to save this in a safe spot. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it on my desktop. Right there. And let it continue its process. And then you'll get another pop-up right here. It says iFaith has finished dumping your 6.1.3 SHSH blobs. Keep them in a very safe spot. You can also see that they've been stored locally and then it'll give you the address that it's been stored. So you just click OK here and now your SHSH blobs are saved on your computer. So it's always a good idea to save your SHSH blobs on every iOS firmware just in case you want to downgrade back to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.